everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here today at Trump National Golf Club for the annual Albert Pujol Celebrity Charity Golf Tournament. Now Albert has his own family foundation and I caught up with the slugger at Angel Stadium who talks about his charity and his relationship with Mr. Donald Trump. Uh, I know Mr. Trump for a long, long time. I play many, many of his courses and you know, uh, every time I go to New York, I, I pay a visit to his office out there, uh, you know, in downtown. But, uh, you know, just a great gentleman, and, you know, it's just good to uh, get to know him. And just, he usually give me advice, you know, over the past year or two. And he wish I would have gone to New York and played, but, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, just a great, great man. What was your impressions last year of the golf course out at Trump National? I know he's very proud of it, and, of course, the views are spectacular. Beautiful. Uh, we have, first of all, oh, God bless us with the great weather. So the, we the weather was beautiful. We, we had a great time. It was just uh, everybody keep talking about the golf course. Man, I want to come next year, you know, just uh, make sure you send me the invitation. I mean, and, uh, you know, I, I want to thank him. And I thank him already, you know, for just opening his door. And uh, he's like, oh, sure, whatever you need. That's why he told me just, uh, you know, just have one of the girls, you know, take care of the whole thing. So uh, I was really uh, exciting. I mean, I knew the course was going to be in pretty good shape because I play in Florida and uh, the one that he has in Florida and uh, it's just the maintenance is just great. You know, they always keep the, the courses in, in great shape. You had a pretty great group of people, of course, golfing last year and this all for your charity, for your family foundation to help families with Down syndrome. Talk about that. Um, you know, it's uh, this is one of our biggest events that we do to, during the year. Uh, we got this uh, the, the, our golf tournament and at the end of the season we do like a, a whole night divine and pretty much those are the biggest uh, fundraise you know to raise money for our Pools Family Foundation and uh, obviously as you know uh, you know we take ma mission trip to down to the Dominican Republic we we do a lot of activity with uh, kids with Down syndrome and obviously uh, you know being our second year here we're going to be more involved with those kids I know we have an event uh, coming on next month for the kids with Down syndrome here in Orange County so uh, just to give back, you know, I, I think it's more than the game. I mean, I, and I'm able to take that, uh, these blessings that God has given me, uh, you know, to, to reach people and just to, to bless them the same way that God has given me. And I couldn't have done that without uh, everybody that support our foundation, you know, uh, from people that they're donating their time, their money, and just trusting us with, uh, with their money that they donate for us to do a good job. So, uh, Todd Perry, you know, our director of our foundation, they always uh, uh, stay on top of his game, you know, to, uh, I saw, I would say, hey, you make me look good, you know, I don't do anything, <laughs> but uh, I just play baseball, but, uh, you know, it just, and my wife, you know, and, and Jane Cooper, they really uh, donated their time and just put their time day and day out, you know, to, to do whatever it takes uh, to help people. And coming out, Albert got a few of his teammates to come out and play golf here at Trump National. Uh, yeah, it uh, means a lot to Albert, you know, f team f uh, players from the guys uh, come out here and, you know, spend some time with people and, uh, you know, have some fun, play some golf. I, I see you're here with your brother. Who's the better golfer? I, I have to say I, I am the better golfer. Really? But uh, he was better than me, but I got better than him now. So, so any friendly competition going on here? Uh, I haven't hit a golf ball in two months, so it's... Uh, Hopefully hit a couple straight today. We are here with Jose Vizcaino. This is your second year here at Trump National. Talk about the course out there. The course is really, really gorgeous. It's, uh, you know, it's one of the nicest courses in California. And, and uh, I'm being, I play here probably like about 10 times. And every time that I come here, I love it. And um, this time it's a very special time because it's for uh, Albert Pujol uh, Foundation. You know, he do a lot of things for uh, a lot of kids uh, in Dominican and, and kids with Down syndrome in St. Louis and here in Anaheim. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good way to come and support our friends. How's your golf game? I uh, haven't played in a while, uh, at least since spring training, but uh, we'll just see. You know, a few, a few shots here and there, and we'll, uh, we'll loosen up and see what happens. Some of, the, uh, some of your co-workers at the Angels are kind of competitive, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we all, all of us really haven't played since spring training, and so uh, it should be interesting. We tried to get here early enough to get on the range, but uh, it looks like we're just going to go. Talk about the Albert Pujols charity and why you're really here today. Uh, you know, Albert is a is a tremendous teammate, and and uh, he always supports us. Um, and so, you know, this is a chance for us to support him and, and his foundation and uh, do something good for people. You know, have you ever been out to this course before? No, this I'm a first timer, so. 
Well, as you can see, people love coming out here to golf at Trump National, but no one is more proud of this course than Mr. Donald Trump. So many golf tournaments have been here. Um, last year, for the very first time, Albert Pujols had his yes. tournament here. I had a chance um, to talk to him at great length, and he said that he had known you for a very long time. That's true. And when he moved here from St. Louis, he said, I knew I was going to have my tournament right here with Mr. Trump. Yes. We have many of the great athletes, yeah. they have tournaments, That's and you know, right. they're all wealthy people, frankly, and they've done very well, and they're great people in many cases, not in all cases, but in many cases, and Albert's an example, and they have their tournaments here, and they raise a lot of money for charity. And we have, I mean, literally, I would say 50 or 60 of the great athletes having their tournaments, and whether it's the Lakers or the Clippers or the Kings or anybody, I mean, the Dodgers yeah, and the Angels, yeah, right. uh, they're always at Trump National and they love, you know, they love what's going on. Many of them have told me that this is probably one of the most challenging courses that they've it's ever true. played. And I was going to ask you, you play golf all over the world, do you agree? It's a very tough course. It's a great course. But, you know, Ben Hogan, who was one of the great players, he said, I've never seen a great course that was easy. And that's true, if you think about it. I mean, it's a great course. It's a very challenging course. And yet, if you're not a great player, you play from the white tees, which is up. That's right. Or you could even go beyond that, and you really have a great time. But from the back tees, it's really, it's probably the hardest course in the state. Is this one of the best courses that you enjoy playing at? I love it. I just left, and I played with some people. I played with Al Michaels, the announcer for NBC, the great football announcer, and great, and, and Mike Dunleavy and some other people. And we just played, and we just had a great time. The weather is wonderful but the course is in tremendous shape. It's now rated the best course in the state of California. We're rated number one. You see it all over the clubhouse. And it's, it really is, it's the best course. It's considered better than Pebble Beach, better than any of the courses in California. I also spent a tremendous amount of money bringing it to a level because when I bought it, it was a good course in a great location. Right and you still had the ocean, but you didn't have the ocean like you have it now because right. we made the vistas much bigger and the course is a much bigger course. Uh, Pete Dye was the architect yep. and he did a fantastic job. Every single hole is either on the ocean or a view of the ocean and there's no course like that in California. I mean, that's why we got rated better than Pebble Beach, better than any of the great courses. And if you think of Pebble Beach, they have six holes that are on the water. We have all 18 are essentially on the water or absolutely on the water. Mr. Trump, I want to go back just a few years to when you actually bought this property from the Zuckerman Brothers. And of course, beautiful golf course with just one little glitch, and that was the 18th hole. Right. Talk about that undertaking and taking the most expensive 18th hole in golf history. Well, it is. The hole was like $61 million, and it's probably the most expensive course ever built. I wouldn't say that I spent so much money on it, but people did, and insurance companies, and it was tied up for many years because the 18th hole, as you remember, fell into the Pacific That's Ocean. Right. Yep. And I, that actually gave me the opportunity to come in, and I was able to buy it from the banks after that, and it's become just a tremendous success. It's now rated the best course in the state of California. We're rated number one. You see it all over the clubhouse. and. It really is. It's the best course. It's considered better than Pebble Beach, better than any of the courses in California. I also spent a tremendous amount of money bringing it to a level because when I bought it, it was a good course in a great location. Right. And you still had the ocean, but you didn't have the ocean like you have it now because right. we made the vistas much bigger and the course is a much bigger course. Uh, Pete Dye was the architect yeah. and he did a fantastic job. Every single hole is either on the ocean or a view of the ocean and there's no course like that in California. I mean, that's why we got rated better than Pebble Beach, better than any of the great courses. And if you think of Pebble Beach, they have six holes that are on the water. We have all 18 are essentially on the water or absolutely on the water. We have a fantastic, uh, the staff and the chef and the food and everything else. We really have great people and I hear it all the time. I mean, they talk about the greens are wonderful and the course is wonderful. and they love the clubhouse, but people talk about the great help and the people that yeah. work here, whether it's Lily or any of the other people, the chef who we think is just the best. And they love the food, they love the ambiance, but they do love the people. I know you mentioned if there's ever an earthquake, you want to be standing on the 18th hole because it'll be safe for everybody. <laughs> well, it's true. I did mention, I didn't know you did so much research. That's true. I actually say if there's ever an earthquake, I want to be standing on the 18th because when we rebuilt it, it's so structuralized and so incredible what we were forced to do. And I said, you know, the world may move, but that hole is staying, right where, right, it's, right where it is. It's a very solid hole. You know, it's been a, a tremendous amount of work. Uh, the town recently, or the city has been really spectacular. I mean, they want this to be the best. They're very proud of it. Yes. And we appreciate that. And we've really had a great relationship with them.